Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Ironman. Last video, we did some agility training and we did some thieving training to get to 50 to get the rogues outfit, which you can see we have now. And then we did more thieving up to 65 and now we have just unlocked Menafight Thugs. But I need to edit the last video right now, so we're gonna go fishing for a bit. We're gonna head over to Edgeville using the fairy rings that we now have unlocked. And uh, we're starting with 44 fishing and 44 cooking, so probably end up AFKing for a couple hours because I do still want to get at least 58 fishing before we go to barb fishing. And then with the barb fishing, I think I want to get to 60 agility first to unlock Sears before we train agility again, like via rooftop courses. So let's start fishing now. But all my AFK fishing is going to be fly fishing probably up until 58. And then we also raised the cat last video, so don't have to raise any more kittens. Neither of us care about going for the death runes. Oh, we just got a medium Karamja task. I uh, change a plan. Plans, by the way, I want to fish here in Shiloh Village so that way we can actually bank the fish because um, it'll be cooking XP. I, well, I guess we get the cooking XP either way, but we could bank the fish for later. I guess if anything, Spook could use the fish to train cooking. We haven't picked out a dedicated cooker for the team, although now that I think about it, we both need 70 cooking at least just to get RFD done. So there is level 50 fishing, and with that, we are done fishing for now and we are going to get off to thieving. Wait, that, that sounds kind of weird. We're, we're gonna go blackjacking now. Here's all the salmon and trout that we have. I think we already had maybe like 200 of each of these raw fish from Toad from before. So we got from 44 to 50 fishing in a little bit over an hour and a half. We did a bunch of thieving last video and I remember the XP rates from the level 45 requirement guys, we were averaging 60K XP per hour. And then from the level 55 guys, actually we still have the XP tracker up, we're averaging like 90k XP per hour, but we just unlocked Menafight Thug, so it should be quite a bit faster than these uh, these middle tier ones that we were just thieving from. Um, plus on top of that, the higher the thieving level is, the higher chance we have to successfully knock them out when blackjacking. So the XP is just going to be getting higher and higher over time. Also, I think Spook right now is blackjacking as well, so let's hop over there and say hi. Oh, never mind, she's still at the fruit stalls apparently. Uh, but the goal with thieving is going to be 91, not necessarily today, but 91 is the requirement to enter the highest room of Pyramid Plunder, so that when we eventually want to go for scepters, we'll already have the thieving requirement to get the best rates. Plus, it's a good way to get a lot of starting cash. Oh, I just thought of a good title for the video. It's going to be something about like making our first 1 million GP. I think we already have 800k or something. Um, which I think the majority of that is from blackjacking. The hard part though is finding an empty world because I assume like all the, the new group Iron Man are all busy blackjacking as well. I'm gonna reset the XP though. We'll see uh, what the XP rate ends up being for the Menafight Thugs. And uh, there's probably not too much to check in with here because I'll just be thieving the whole time. So we got 65 thieving right now. I don't know how long we'll go for. Probably, I don't know, maybe the rest of the day. We'll see how it goes. Oh, and that was a hard desert task to knock out the Menafight Thug, I guess, or pickpocket or something. Babe. After this, we're going to be so rich, I'll let you order whatever you want off the, the 1GP menu at McDonald's. Thanks, babe. You're so sweet. Only the best for you. Wow. Also, you're only limited to three things off the menu. Three whole things? Yeah, but you have to split it with me. Okay, deal. I don't know why the vodka respawns extra fast here, so I kind of just wait for it to respawn each time. I don't have a problem, you have a problem. Anyways, I was saving this level for you right here. It's a very important one. 69 thieving. Please have sex with me. What does that mean? I can't tell if she's into me or not. What do you guys think? Hi, I'm into you. Mm, yeah, I don't know, still can't tell. Please, babe, tough. have sex with me. It's tough. <laughs> and there is level 70 thieving. Uh, according to the XP tracker, we've been doing this for about two hours now. We made about 240k GP. This XP per hour, by the way, isn't like efficient. That's just me getting distracted with talking and typing to people on Discord and clicking on YouTube videos and stuff like that. And the fact that I'm really bad at talking and blackjacking at the same time also doesn't help too much. But um, yeah, like right now, uh, I think we'll go to like at least 75 because I'm still having fun here. I know I'm crazy having fun blackjacking, but we'll go for at least 75 before we do something else. Maybe even longer. We'll see. Also, I wish we had more food in the bank, like cooked food. So that way there, there's an unnoter that you can use. You just use the food on the guy over there and he unnotes it for like 5 GP or something. But nothing we can do about that now though. It's pretty brutal how when my guy knocks the Menafight Thug out, he just gets like slammed through the wall like like in an anime or something. <laughs> 
His buddy's like, hey man, you okay? Yeah, just taking a nap, bro. Holy, why would... Why would someone sell all their wines to the shop here? Or is someone trolling? Are they like trying to like stock up? Okay, I've been hopping around a few worlds and quite a few worlds have this now. So I guess there's someone who's just um like hopping around the world selling wines just to overstock it so that group accounts can't buy them because all group accounts all share the same stock. It's pretty bad timing though because the game updates like seven hours from now so I don't know why they would like waste their time now when all the shop stocks are about to refresh. Not that it affects me anyways because I don't really even use the wines. Yo we got a mime random and we unlocked the glass wall emote. Oh look at this wholesome interaction. This guy was just running by he's like wait do I know you? I have you added. And like, wait, we raided together. I was in the CC. Oh my god. That's so wholesome. All right, there is 75 thieving. I said we'd stop at 75, but I'm having so much fun. I think we'll stay for one more level just as a treat to myself. There we go. 76 thieving. There's uh, nothing special or nothing at all that we unlock at this level. I just wanted to get one more before I eat dinner tonight. So I'm gonna go make some food and we're gonna go back to Shiloh Village and do some more AFK fishing. It looks like going from 65 to 76 thieving took a little bit over six hours. And look at all the freaking GP that we made, dude. Okay, wait, let's go bank in Shiloh and we'll see uh, the total cash stack now. Here we go, let's see. Deposit this in there. We are now a millionaire. 1.6 mil GP, the biggest cash stack that we've ever had on the account, which isn't saying much considering the account's not even a week old, but still, it, it's so nice to have so much GP and not have to stress about it. Anyway, still working towards 58 fishing for barb fishing and uh, I'll just keep on banking all the trout and salmon that we get. Hey. Hi. Where are you in game right now? Barb fishing. Oh, okay. I'm in Shiloh fishing. Oh. I have good news. What? We're millionaires now. Oh, really? Well, I am. You're about to be. Can you meet me at the Barb Assault Bank and bring all your GP? Yeah. I know it sounds like really sketchy, like I'm trying to scam you or something. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see all your GP. Okay. I bought some feathers, so my cash stack is down a little bit. Okay, wait, I have to do some math in my head right now. Good luck. Okay, perfect. Okay. I'll press accept. Okay, now trade me again. <laughs> okay. Now put up all your money. No, wait. Oh! <laughs> wait, no, you're supposed to... Okay, wait, take, <laughs> take the money away now. Wait, hold on, wait, okay. 7k. Okay. This is what like the, the quick change artists do at convenience stores. Okay, now trade me. <laughs> I was like, how'd I end up with so much money? Okay, now put up all the money in the trade window. We are both millionaires now in old school RuneScape. That's yeah. that's gonna be something along the lines of the title. Okay, now give me my uh, six thirteen k back. I kind of need that. <laughs> okay. No, uh, but if you do need money anytime, got you, babe. <laughs> Fine, you can have four things off the one GP menu at McDonald's. Wow, well, thanks. All right, 54 fishing. That is enough fishing for tonight. I think we've done enough skilling for today at this point, so I want to go back to questing because I don't think we've done any quests for two videos now, right? This video and the last video, so... So uh, pick out some quests to do. I think we'll stick with the desert theme for this video since we just did all that blackjacking. And the uh, first quest we're gonna do is the golem. The only item that we're missing for the quest is the pestle and mortar because I gave mine to spook yesterday. So I have to go get another one now. Ah, the things you do for love. And this should be the end of the golem quest, uh, which is the last requirement that we needed for shadow of the storm, so. We'll just go on and do Shadow of the Storm next. Another nice perk of finishing the Golem quest is that we can now take the carpet to Uzer. Although there is a pretty close fairy ring as well uh, down here. Kind of close, but this takes you right there. I remember there was a weird like kind of glitch with this quest. So you do have to deal the final blow with Silverlight, but you have to like tank the last hit as well. Like you have to actually be in combat because if I just flinch the last hit and I run directly back here, um, then it's not going to count it and he's going to reset the full health. We'll just run up and face tank him for this last one damage that we can please hit with the very weak, inaccurate silver light. Pray flicking. Please just do one more hit. 
Yes, there we go. We can choose one skill to get 10k XP in, and there's no level requirement, so we can just put that into range, and that'll put us from 1 to 27 range. And this quest is one of the requirements for RFD, so we should actually probably start doing more of the quests that we need to do for RFD. Since Sparrow's Gloves is kind of a big goal for the account right now, now we're gonna head into the mountains with the Death Plateau quest. Death Plateau is done, we get some attack XP, and we get the S clause. And this quest unlocks one actual upgrade for the account. We can now buy climbing boots and equip them from Tenzing for 12 GP each. Sounds good. And there we go. Let me show you the stats of them. If we put them on, uh, it gives the plus two strength bonus. That's the most important thing. And it's nice there's no negatives for anything else. Um, I think I'll probably just stock up on a bunch of them because once we eventually start doing willy stuff, climbing boots would probably be a good option to bring. Okay, that's probably good for now. We're going to teleport home to Lumbridge and we're going to do death to the Dorgashun. I don't think it's actually a requirement for RFD, but I do have a very particular and dumb reason why I want to do this quest right now. You have to get two full ham sets for death to the Dorgashun. Um, but once you actually start the quest, you have a higher chance of actually getting these pieces when pickpocketing ham members. So if you are going for these sets, just make sure you start this quest first. Dude, I don't know if I just like glitched the game or something, but I was trying so long to get the second pair of ham boots and I just wasn't getting it. I was getting literally everything except them. And then I just hopped worlds and within like three pickpockets of hopping the world, I got the, the second pair of boots I need, so... I don't know, maybe coincidences do exist. No. <laughs> no, it's so embarrassing. It's pretty much out of food. Uh we can we can get the items back, right? <laughs> oh hey, we got a hit points level while we were there and we got 900 total from it, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I had all my runes on me and I already used my home teleport. And of course I set my spawn point to Fally. Okay, I'm new to death mechanics in the main game, so I could just claim back the items for free, right? Because they're all like pretty worthless. So if I just, this is death, yeah, this is death's place. Can I collect the items from the gravestone now? How much is the fee? Oh, dude, <laughs> this is so easy, man. There we go, death to the Dorgashun is done. And the dumb reason why I wanted to do this quest right now was because of this 2k range XP, which, oh. Well, 28 range means we could use the bone crossbow now. Um, I, I thought we would get to 30, or I was hoping we'd get to 30, um, because 30 is the requirement for big chompy bird hunting, which is the quest I wanted to do. But that's okay because I know one more quest we can do that's going to give us range XP. I know like it's dumb that we could just like get the range level in just five minutes, but it's an excuse to do quests. However, it is really late right now, so I'm going to go to bed. And the game update is supposed to be tonight. Hopefully they're going to fix the group storage. They had to like kind of disable it after the first couple days of group Iron Man. So we'll see if that gets fixed overnight from the update. But uh, it's going to have been exactly one week of group Iron Man being out. And uh, this is the progress that we've made in one week. 902 total and 119 quest points. See you in the morning. Here is the update. And that's like a really weird way to word it. That makes it sound like it just came out now or something. Um, but here, let me show you the updates. So, group iron changes and feedback. Um, I guess the most important thing down here is that they did in fact fix the group storage, so now everyone can use it. Previously, only the leader could use it, um, but now we can actually put items in there, and anyone can take out the items from any bank anywhere in the game. And then there's one other change right here. Uh, the way this is worded makes it sound like the Iron Men and Group Iron Men did in fact share the same wine stock. Which makes sense because I was wondering how could Group Iron Men get like thousands of wines so early on the account. So that makes sense. It was just an Iron Man selling them all to the shop. But now I guess uh, Group Iron Men have separate stocks for wines. Anyways, next quest we're going to do is Horror from the Deep or horror if you're from the East Coast. Last thing we had to do beforehand is just complete the bar crawl, which we got all of them done passively while we were just running around the game doing quests. And we can now smash our vials, and we can also now do horror from the deep. This reminds me of SpongeBob with the bull worm when SpongeBob's like, that's not the worm, that's its tongue. This is just the baby Dagnoth. I think the fight with the mom Dagnoth might be kind of difficult because we don't have overheads. We're supposed to pray range the whole time, but I was watching this Slayer music guide from like eight years ago, and if Slayer music did it without overheads, then I can definitely do it because, I mean, we all know how good he is at PV. Yeah, we need to hide behind one of these stalagmites. So this is what it's come to now, just going back and forth, 
Hitting one at a time. And I bought these chaos runes specifically for this fight right here. Okay, don't misclick on the teleports because they're like right next to this spell here. And that is GG. There's the quest complete. We get all that XP and that puts it 30 range. Uh, it did, 32 range in fact. And then we can also go upstairs and claim our first god book for free. And we got a magic level. Strength level. I guess it doesn't really matter what we take because when the books aren't filled in, then all it gives is a plus five per bonus. But it's a new best in slot, uh, per bonus shield slot for us right now. Now, with this massive range boost, we can finally do big chompy bird hunting, even though I've never held a bow in my life, except for Tutorial Island. But that doesn't count because uh, I wasn't a group Iron Man yet. Yeah. Oh no, don't tell Spook Dog. Okay, this should be the end of Big Chompy Bird Hunting. We get some XP from that, and I think that was the last requirement that we needed for Zogre Flesh Eaters. Let's do that next. Oh, this is my first time going to the POH. We just unlocked the music track this late into the game. I guess it's still pretty early, but I just teleport here because I want to see if this would restore the um, disease. It doesn't. I could probably just go to Clan Wars. It probably restores it. I don't really care that much. So we can make the Relisim's Balm here. And then if we use it, not drink it, on Uglugnar, he'll take it from us. And this will unlock the ability to buy them from his shop for uh, 200 GP. So this is going to come in really handy, especially for Iron Man doing Nightmare. This is uh, something that you're going to probably buy a lot of. I've never actually done Nightmare before, but from what I've heard. Okay, this actually might be kind of an annoying fight without overheads because he uses like range or mage attacks or something. I don't know if we have enough food for this. Never mind, that actually wasn't too bad. I still want to get overheads though, because it's pretty rough being only 31 prayer. Here we go, the end of Zogre Flesh Eaters. Another quest knocked out of the way. And um, I think we're going to call it here. Oh, we got a few levels too. We got quite a few prerequisites out of the way for Recipe for Disaster. And in the next video, we're going to actually start doing those RFD subquests and start actually working towards Bureau's Gloves. Don't forget to check out my Duo Teammates YouTube channel linked in every video description. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again tomorrow.